Joining us now with his immediate thoughts on the budget is uh, Price Waterhouse Coopers Chairman for New Zealand, John Shewan. John Shewan, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Uh, let's uh, just get your reaction to uh, the events in Wellington so far today. I think the reaction is uh, uh, pretty positive. The big surprise was the ability to present a budget that has the country coming back into operating surplus a year earlier than expected. Uh, and given the events of the Christchurch earthquake, which are estimated to cost the, the government about $8 billion, uh, the all-up cost of the earthquake is about $20 billion. That, coupled with the slower economic recovery up until now uh, that we've had, led us to think that we might be in deficit for a little longer. So that was very pleasing, and it really comes off the back of a much stronger uh, growth projection uh, for 2013 and then 2014 than was expected. We're looking at, or well, the government's looking at, a 4% GDP growth in 2013, that would be the highest for some years, and in part I think that reflects the economic stimulus caused by the rebuild of Christchurch. Uh, talking to a strategist uh, a little while ago, you were suggesting to me that this budget would be more austere than Marcus would have given about a week ago. Uh, well, what's your take on that? Uh, well, my take is I think it's a little less austere than we, we were expecting. The, the changes the government has made to some of the um, welfare um, payments and student loan scheme and the savings scheme, thereby saving in aggregate about $5 billion over the next four years, it's actually quite a lot less than, than was expected. Um, the, the, the changes are more mo moderate. Um, uh, and the reason I think the government has been able to do that is that they have built into their budget uh, an estimated gain of between five and seven billion New Zealand dollars on the uh, mixed ownership model, that's the sell down of some of the state-owned uh, state enterprises, mainly in the electricity sector and part of our national airline. Now that's controversial and in fact the government faces an election in November of this year and they've made it clear that they will be campaigning on, these, uh, on each of these initiatives and uh, if the public do not like them then of course they'll be voted out. So in one sense it's quite a politically risky budget but I think the business community applauds them for taking that risk. John Shearn, thanks very much indeed for joining us. That's PwC uh, Chairman of New Zealand. They're joining us on the line uh, from New Zealand.